Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. My brothers and sisters in Christ, we celebrate our Mass today, especially for the soul of Hugh Duffy. And for you folks watching, I think the only people who are completely dry are you folks watching at home. Because with this torrential downpours, everybody's soaked. Um, think of it as hope of being blessed with holy water, maybe. But we come together now to do the most important thing we'll do all weekend. Celebrate the sacred mysteries of God's love in our minds. And as always, first we pause and call to mind that we're sinners. We need the Lord. We don't always love as we could. And we place ourselves in God's hands, asking for pardon and strength. You came to bring us life to the fullest. Lord, have mercy. You are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ have mercy. You show us the way to eternal life. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. And we echo on earth the song of the angels in heaven as we pray. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have prepared for those who love you good things which no eye can see, fill our hearts, we pray, with the warmth of your love, so that loving you in all things and above all things, we may attain your promises which surpass every human desire. Through Christ our Lord. reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, observe what is right, do what is just, for my salvation is about to come, my justice about to be revealed. The foreigners who join themselves to the Lord ministering to him, loving the name of the Lord, and becoming his servants. All who keep the Sabbath free from profanation and hold to my covenant, them I will bring to my holy mountain and make joyful in my house of prayer. Their burnt offerings and sacrifices will be acceptable on my altar. For my house shall be called a house of prayer for all people. The word of the Lord. O oh God, let all the nations praise you. Oh God. 
May God have pity on us and bless us. May he let his face shine upon us. So may your way be known upon the earth. Among all nations, your salvation. O oh God, let all the nations praise you. May the nations be glad and exult because you rule the people in equity. The nations on the earth you guide. O oh God, let all the nations praise you. May the peoples praise you, O oh God. May all the peoples praise you. May God bless us and may all the ends of the earth fear him. O oh God, let all the nations praise you. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, I am speaking to you Gentiles, inasmuch as I am the apostle to the Gentiles. I glory in my ministry in order to make my race jealous and thus save some of them. For if their rejection is the reconciliation of the world, what will their acceptance be but life from the dead? For the gifts and the call of God are irrevocable. Just as you once disobeyed God, but have now received mercy because of their disobedience, so they have now disobeyed in order that by virtue of the mercy shown to you, they too may receive mercy. For God delivered all to disobedience, that he might have mercy upon all. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus withdrew to the district of Tyre and Sidon. It happened that a Canaanite woman living in that locality presented herself crying out to him, Lord, son of David, have pity on me. My daughter is terribly troubled by a demon. He gave no word of response. His disciples came up and began to entreat him. Get rid of her. She keeps shouting after us. My mission is only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, Jesus replied. She came forward then and did him homage with the plea, help me, Lord. But he answered, it is not right to take the food of sons and daughters and throw it to the dogs. Please, Lord, she insisted. Even the dogs eat the leavings that fall from the master's tables. Jesus then said in reply, woman, you have great faith. Your wish will come to pass. That very moment, her daughter got better. The Gospel of the Lord. <clears throat> the 
For my brothers and sisters in Christ, please take a bulletin home. There's a, a lot in there that's happening now or coming up soon. Um, <clears throat> it's time to register your children for faith formation for religious ed. And it'll be online except for First Communion and Confirmation. That will be here twice a month so we can split the classes up and keep the social distancing. Um, <clears throat> and the details are here in the bulletin. But now's the time to uh, sign them up so we know how many bo <clears throat> books we need, etc. Also, there's that wonderful opportunity in adult education. The diocese has <clears throat> connected with a Catholic college in Ohio, <clears throat> Dayton University, the University of Dayton. And you can have the first class is free. Free college credits, imagine. So please take it, try to take advantage of that. Also, our wonderful Knights of Columbus has, uh, is collecting the baby bottles. So please uh, try to put yours in. That is going to help buy between last year and this year an ultrasound machine, which will be a tremendous help for saving the unborn's lives. Also, we only have four stations of the cross left. Just to let you know, if you'd like to memorialize one, it's $2,500. And there are only four left. So I just wanted to remind you again, if you wanted to do that. Well, thanks for sending me little chuckles and things. And on a gloomy day like this, we could use a little lift. So you sent me these two recently. The room was full of pregnant women with their husbands. The instructor said, ladies, remember that exercise is good for you. Walking is especially beneficial. It strengthens the pelvic muscles and will make delivery that much easier. Just pace yourself, make plenty of stops, and try to stay on soft surfaces like a grass path. Gentlemen, remember you're in this together. It wouldn't hurt you to go walking with her. In fact, that shared experience would be good for you both. The room was suddenly very quiet as the men absorbed this information. After a few moments, a husband in the back row slowly raised his hand. Yes, said the instructor. The husband said, I was just wondering if it would be all right if she carried my golf bag. So I don't think that's what she was thinking. And this one, this one um, talks about three dog breeds. One of them is a little breed, a pug. But I think it applies to all the little dogs. A German Shepherd, a Doberman, and a pug have died. All three reach heaven and step forward to meet God, who wants to know what they believe in. The German shepherd said, I believe in discipline, training, and loyalty to my master. Good, said God, then sit on my right. <clears throat> the Doberman, uh, he asked Doberman, what do you believe in? The Doberman answered, I believe in the love, care, and protection of my master. Aha, uh -huh, said God, then you may sit on my left. He then looked at the pug and said, and what do you believe in? The pug told God, I believe you are sitting in my seat. I think all the uh, little dogs sort of have that. Well, do you remember when we had the total eclipse? And here it is it's in South, they were giving out eclipse glasses. And in South Carolina, it went right over us. It went over directly over Greenville, and then Columbia, then Charleston, and went out to sea. So we had to watch. Well, 
I tried to find my pair. I have it somewhere, somewhere very um, tucked away because I can't, couldn't find it. And you never know when we might need it. Maybe we'll have, be able to have a second total eclipse right over South Carolina. It's possible. But when we put those glasses on, then we could see the whole thing. Oh, thank you, Lord, for God's blessing us. With, without without um, hurting our eyes. And I was at my last parish, Corpus Christi in Lexington, which is over the, in the Columbia area. So you have people from all different states that decided to find the Catholic Church and be in that parking lot. Now, we were very popular at the rectory, or I was, because we had the, ba the a bathroom they could use. And so I met all of them. But <clears throat> God is giving us in our readings sort of special glasses so we can see with God's eyes, with the eyes of, of faith, the way God sees us. Now, what do all these people have in common? A black man, a white woman, an Hispanic man, a Filipino woman, a Native American man, you and me. All of us are the same in God's eyes. We human beings, when we look at other people with human eyes, we categorize them, we like this group, we don't like this group, and all that. God made us all, and we're all the same, children of God. Now, and the first reading and the gospel talk about that. The first reading said, my house will be a house of prayer for all people. The old covenant with the Jewish people, they were and always will be the chosen people in the Old Testament. But then in Jesus, we have the New Testament, the new covenant in his blood through his death and resurrection. And there's two parts of the Bible, remember? The Old Testament and the New Testament. Well, the word testament, testamentum in Latin, means covenant. The old covenant in the Old Testament and the new covenant with Jesus' death and resurrection. Well, the new covenant was breaking forth, and <clears throat> the, Jesus was in the region of Tyre and Sidon. That was outside of Israel. That was in present-day Lebanon. In fact, north and south of Beirut, the capital on the Mediterranean coast of Lebanon, are still the cities of Tyre and Sidon. There were other times when Jesus wandered out of Israel preaching and healing. Do you remember when he, this uh, very wild man, had a demon called Legion? There were many of us, remember that? And um, Jesus sent them into a herd of swine that went down the cliff and drowned in the, in the Sea of Galilee. Well, they couldn't have been in Israel because they were a herd of swine, pigs and the Jews don't eat pork. Um, so Jesus, the kingdom of God was breaking out into the Gentile areas with Jesus. It's no longer con uh, confined just to Israel. God's house, God's covenant is now a covenant, a love bond, that covenant for all people. And let me just clarify what Jesus said. It sounds strange to our ears when Jesus said, um, it is not right to take the food of the children and give it to the dogs. Referring to the Canaanite, the non-Jewish woman as, as with the word dog. But let's remember, whenever anything sounds strange to our ears, what do we have to do? It's text and context. We have to put it into context. At the time, that is the expression that was used for the non-Jewish people, the Gentiles. Well, and in Greek, there are two words for dog. In, the, in, in English, it's all just D-O-G, but there was one word for like a pet, which is what Jesus used, and the other one was 
uh, for like a group of pack of wild dogs in the street or the countryside. Well, but Jesus was using the regular expression. Jesus wasn't uh, being nasty to the woman. In fact, it's the same loving Jesus that we know in everywhere else. Because Jesus spoke to the woman, and believe it or not, if you think that the sexes aren't equal now, back then, men did not even have to speak publicly to women. But Jesus spoke to her, then said, oh woman, you have great faith, complimented her, and granted her request, healed her daughter. So, um, when we put it into context, perspective, it's the same Jesus as we all know. And in the scripture, both three, all three readings talk about how no one is despised or cut off or beneath God's love. All of us are open and, and God's love is available to everyone. We human beings emphasize people's differences so that we know we'll cheat. We've met a few people in this group that we, we really don't like or we see things, so we just write off the whole group or, you know, whatever, whatever. Well, we make the differences. If you have a group of children, they can play with kids of different races, languages, um, political parties, and they're perfectly fine. It's we adults who emphasize the difference between people. God's way of looking at things, if we look at it not, look at other people, not the way of the world, but the way of God, then we treat everyone the same. Well, look at um, the Olympics, or in, in the United States, any a sports team. Thank goodness we're having some sports again. But look at the sports teams. The members of the team are very different from each other, but they have to respect each other and work together with each other if they want to win. Well, the question for you and I based on our readings today is, what team am I on? Whose team do I work for? Do I follow God's way or the way of the world? Well, let's pray that you and I can, this week as we leave Mass, and come next Saturday when I'm sure the sun will be shining and it'll be beautiful. But all week when we meet people, may we not look at them with, with the way the world does. May we, we, we're here at Mass, we want to have more the heart and mind of Jesus. Well, may we look at the uh, others with God's eyes and treat them in God's way. I end with just a little a um, comic from Family Circus, which is in our newspaper. The mother and father and three little kids are walking out of church. And the, the oldest girl says to her parents, Grandma says, this is where our real religion begins, when we come out of church. Well, again, Grandma is right. And so, may you and I, until we meet again for Mass, may we Keep this, these readings in mind. Look at others the way God does. And then we'll be on God's team, working for the Lord on God's team. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, life from life, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us, for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. 
For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered the end of the day, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, and with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, the life of the Lord. Amen. And now with confidence we bring all of our needs before the Lord. that the leaders of the church will help to make their church communities into houses of prayer which welcome all peoples. We pray to the Lord, Lord that the leaders of the nations of the world will do all in their power to break down the barriers of division. We pray to the Lord, that the sick, the terminally ill, and those who are grieving the loss of a loved one will find comfort in their faith during their time of trial. We pray to the Lord that the members of our parish community will help to heal the divisions and wounds caused by prejudice and injustice. Pray to the Lord that the Lord will soften the hearts of all those who are filled with hate and the hearts full of love for others. We pray to the Lord for those who have asked for our prayers and those whose names are listed in our parish book of remembrance. May they experience the healing presence of God. Pray to the Lord. For all who have died in faith, especially Hugh Duffy, may they rejoice forever in the vision of God's glory. And we pray in a special way in this Eucharist for Hugh Duffy. We pray to the Lord. For the prayers we now offer in the silence of our hearts. Pray to the Lord. And we ask all this in great faith through Christ our Lord.
pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive our oblation, O Lord, by which you brought about a glorious exchange, that by offering what you have given, we may merit to receive your very self through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you so love the world that in your mercy you sent us to redeem it, to live like us in all things like sin, that you might love in us what you loved in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours that in my sinning we had lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we do give you thanks as an exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. And giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of him. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Robert, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. 
Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints, St. John, who have believed you throughout the ages, may we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Now we stand for the Lord's Prayer. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray to you. Who are in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reigns forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you all. <laughs> Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. This is Jesus, the King of love. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word. Let us stand. May partakers of Christ through these sacraments 
We humbly implore your mercy, Lord, that you form to his image on earth. We may merit also to be his co-heirs in heaven, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our Mass is ended. Let us go forth to proclaim the Gospel. And may the Lord keep all of us safe on our way home.